Hello. These are sad days, days of the trial of all flesh that's come to bring God's word of patience to us, to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. For if we do not change, we're going to be in deep doo-doo. We won't have boots deep enough for that kind of shit. <laughs> you don't want to know. See, we have a window into our future if only we would choose to open that window and embrace that window. It'll look lots of glare. You got to turn up that light or I can turn it off. Wow, look at that magic. I like my little uh, candle. What it is, it's the eagle. And the most majestic eagle of the eons is he. You got to realize that the lion is the lamb. The lamb is the lion. The, the eagle is the dove. The dove is the eagle. The oneness thereof. Uh, the reason I wrote for 20 years in secret uh, is simple. Because I have felt the oneness with God having my heart in a, a place where he could use me. And, you know, Gregory Rasputin, he was a wanderer, and he walked all over this earth uh, in Europe uh, like a hobo. And uh, he arose to a place of living in the palace with the Tsar, Alexander and Nicholas. And now in these days, only God's word through him can deflate Russia's tire. So concerning prophecy, it must be examined most carefully by all people who give a damn. Problem is most people don't give a damn. And uh, the Bible says, and all that's good must be embraced. That means stop throwing out the babies with the bath water. Then you get nothing good out of it. You reject everything. I lived with a, a roommate for a bunch of years, a guy, I, 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 I love him. Uh, I don't like him. Um, yeah, he listened to one of my videos and said, man, you're a false prophet. Did you talk about yourself? No, I don't know what he's listening to. I talk about Christ. And I talk about our beloved love of the ages, who is the Lord Bog of Russia. And so, in these days, uh, it is time for a curse of love uh, to befall those of lovelessness, those with a false Jesus who will not forgive them. They are creating the unforgivable sin if people uh, take their uh, lack of love to an extreme. Right now, the blood of only, last I heard, 50 people dead so far in Ukraine uh, is all on his hands. And unlike Pilate, he will never, that murderer, he killed those people in cold-blooded murder because he's revealing himself as the snake that he has always been. He's the KGB communist uh, who wants communist dictatorship again. And now he is the fifth king of the book of Daniel. He's given himself dictator powers. He can stay in office, he thinks, until uh, 14, 15, where he'll never make it that long. He will die. God has got a, uh, uh, a curse for him. So if you're listening, Vladimir, would not want to be yet because because of you ripping the earth a new one pushing us to the brink of world war three uh, thus says the lord god now shall my eagles of the united states fly with my dove of peace and love as they retaliate uh, and it will be heavy uh at first and i'm not talking about war i'm talking about love uh, the people will be praying for all unloving people. And because I am the Lord God Almighty, who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored, my name is love. And I am now allowing the fullness of my very worst curses and woes that are written in the word of Revelation uh, to come forth in these videos of my exaltation for I am the utter damnation of all those of shallow and loving hearts like Vladimir Putin who will need no judgment day uh, because he will perish everlastingly where there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth in the outer spaces of the out outer places of the outer darkness. That is his destiny. And on his tombstone will be written, Monster of Monsters, the Vlad, uh, the Impaler that impaled the world for its end time horrors. 
And so I, saith the Lord Bog of Russia, I am the condemnation of the religious and the reviler of insincerity. Accursed therefore are all ignorant, angry souls, believing not that I am also the living curse of all those accursed by their lovelessness. For if you reject love, then you have a curse on your hands. Great is my wrath. My name is angry, saith the Lord God. And I come as one with stammering lips, line by line, precept by precept, as a strong and destroying hailstorm with the appointment of Jeremiah 110 in my mouth to pull down all religiosity, distortional. There is only one true God in this world. I am Elijah, and his name is love. Who cannot, I will spit out my teeth, who cannot forgive Putin. Can't. Because if you let your love go out, that's him going out in you. That's the unforgivable sin, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. He'd love to forgive you, but he can't. You, you, you slash your own spiritual wrists when you become a loveless person. There is no condemnation for those walking in the spirit of love, but there's a lot of condemnation for those who will not. So the Lord says, Great is my wrath. My name is Jealous, and I am jealous of all insane individuals, hard of heart, who will not turn on their love light. And for that reason, let the just know that they shall live by Gregory Rasputin's faith, and then shall come the shattering of the power of the holy people of Daniel 12, 7. Big attitude adjustments for a world of religious Pharisees, unloving, uh, critical, judgmental, uh, full of spiritual racism and toxicity of the poison of their own bias and their own ignorance. There is no darker darkness than ignorance of love alone, saith Elijah. So the Lord God, he then declared, I am the exterminator of Pharisee-like fools, daring to ignore my manifested faith of Chrislam, for Israel is now Chrislam. Isaiah 62, 2, it was written that at the appointed time, at the end, that I would give the Lord God, I would give them a new name. And the name I have given them is Chrislam, because they have inherited all mankind, as it is written in Isaiah 54, 3. Because I give my covenant to all people, to all flesh, for I am the Lord God of all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27 declares that. So unto all people of love, I will send no curse upon you, but yet if you do not run away from this guy, you will bring the curse upon yourself. And so he says to all people of love who will hear, who have ears to hear, verily, verily, he says unto you, Putin, if you will listen, otherwise he's got an aim on you. Wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> but he says to all people that will transform from the rats to the being mice that will eat the cat, as Rasputin prophesied of these days of the king of the north of Daniel invading the king of the south. And so the Lord God, uh, it is time that you need to understand that such apostate, loveless people rejecting my glory, saith the Lord Bog of Russia, are but as the walking dead of no future life. They are committing the unforgivable sin. They're being like a frog that does the greatest magic trick. He turns into a dead duck and a cooked goose. Froggy to birdie. That's what happens. You put him in a pot. You turn up that, that uh, flame just right. Next thing you know, he, he's, he's a dead duck. He's a cooked goose. Gone. Didn't, didn't see it coming. Jeez, I got my poor little candle. Fell right down. So you know what? It's time to light the candle of hope. It's time to light the candle of peace, the candle of friendship, brother against brother, uh, cousin against cousin. Uh, people, this is civil war. One side is killing the mothers of soldiers of their own people. Think about that, how insane that is. Killing the parents of soldiers who are fighting against their own parents. It, it is happening. Sons turning against their fathers, daughters spitting at their mothers. So light the candle of reconciliation. Let that truth go forward as a mighty wind. It's time to leave the safety of the shore. Go out to the deep. 
our Lord God, Bhag of Russia, he is the excellence of treasure and the treasure of excellence. And he's calling everyone to go out into the deep because he is the prince of peace and the pearl of great reward that's calling each of us. And he promises you that if you go out into the deep uh, for one who is preaching meat, uh, who will come and feed the master's household meat when the master is away, uh, the Lord said. And I have prepared for the Lord a great mountain of Isaiah 25. And upon this latter-day mountain of Isaiah 2 and Micah 4, all shame and guilt of all people can be forgiven and left behind as we look towards a kingdom age arising. So light the candle of faith. Have some. Be obedient. All your worship is crap if you will not obey the word of God. Muhammad said, uh, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand upon the gospel of love, the law and all revelation coming to you. That's all I'm giving the world is revelation and no one wants it. I'm another Noah. Noah worked many years hard building an ark for nobody that wanted to ride. And I've worked many, many years writing 200 books for nobody that wanted to read them. So it's time to light the candle of enlightenment, to light the inner candle of His knowledge of love upon your heart. It's time to quit rejecting truth. It's time to quit rejecting His Word. He is alive and His Word is alive. And all canons of all religions are now broken asunder, just as Hebrew 8 said. And even Muhammad said the same thing, uh, that... The day was coming, there'd be no more left of the Quran except its outward form, and his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam because of a book coming that proves God's mercy, the book of Jeremiah 31. And and he says, and that, that'll be that. That's in the Hadith. And it was revelation, kingdom age knowledge that he handed. And world, we are right there in the latter days. Uh, the Antichrist uh, double of the lawless one revealed as the sword swallower of uh, Revelation 13, Morg, whose name is Death. He's got the 666 right on his wall. He is the lawless one. The Antichrist, uh, it doesn't matter who calls who a name is. They're both Antichrist. But Putin is the Antichrist of Daniel 11. So all of our uh, understandings uh, have been mixed up. We live in a wix in our merge, you know. So light the candle of true understanding that will only come by believing God's word of love to all of us. Because truly, truly, I say unto you, he is, will always write his word of love upon our hearts if only we will believe. So invite the Holy Spirit to come forth in your life and be that dove of love and soar high, mount up on eagle's wings. Mount up and he will take you to places of glory where the radiance thereof will be as the sunshine. And as the sun of righteousness arises with healing under his wings, so too will uh, the lands be healed by the leaves of the tree of life, the tree of love. And know that all those opposed to this channel have no root or branch left to hold on to because these are the days of the refiner's fire and these days shall burn as an oven and as they do the the light will seemingly come closer and closer to the point where we can hardly stand to even look upon such amazement but in these days we have some lessons to learn and the lessons that we must learn have to be how to get along in the sandbox together. Because if we can't do that, then uh, we're hopeless. And the other truth is that, uh, still got too much glare there, with my life, with my life. Uh, if we cannot get along with each other, how can we, uh, how could we love a God that we can't see if we're not willing to love people who we do see? Brothers of other mothers, Putin has blood on his hands, at least 50 already this morning. There's probably hundreds more dead by now. Uh, but uh, that's a cold-blooded murder. To attack another nation in a time of no war for the name of peace. To keep the peace, you gotta have war, you know. It is pure, bogus insanity. So here the word of Rasputin, 
the rats running from that cat will transform into mice and the mice will eat that rat and that is what will come to pass so make sure you pass on the Rasputin videos here at this channel because it is the weapon of love against what is happening and if you don't care we'll just have World War III man it's not going to be nice so if you're insane just keep ignoring me so the Lord says know that my glory uh, will not befall the walking dead who has an appearance of godliness but deny the power thereof who I am and I shall not repent of the execution of Vladimir uh, Putin uh, if he will not obey me and all people executed who are uh, unloving people of hate uh, because as they point one finger out they got four more counting right back at them and such mad and sane souls as as the new Vlad the Impaler who has ripped the earth the new one he will insanely be following after bankrupt hearts where there is no love remaining and they will keep refusing to take their brains with them on their journey into hell's uh, hottest flames to join Iblis Satan who has been removed for a thousand years as Daniel 12 1 says and uh, so know that the judgment of damnation is reserved for Vladimir Putin and he will be tossed into the outer darkness of the furthest outer, outer spaces in those furthest blackest places uh, and uh, as that happens there will be much weeping and gnashing of his teeth so much that he's not going to have no teeth very soon they'll be worn right down to the nubs and the terror and agony of a life of unlovingness awaits such incorrigible uh, unrepentant people lovelessly who have been committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit the unforgivable sin that he cannot forgive he'd like to but you let his light go out in you that's letting him and you go out and so here the roar of the Lion of Zion he's roaring louder than anyone ever before he's saying woe unto the enemies of love from Russia for such brainless souls against their Lord God Bog uh, they will need no decapitation decapitation to befall them for them not to be able to think they're doing a good job on their own so let the wise come to see that this new forthcoming antichrist is a murderous wannabe and know that i am elohim i am adonai i am allah i am the lord bog of russia i am the one lord god of all mankind and know that I am the destroyer, and I am angry. That is my name, and I am therefore the annihilator uh, and the creator of oblivion. But I speak unto you, Vlad, and he says unto you, sir, and to you, unloving Russians, hearing this prophecy, he says, I will return my terrifying anger. There's still a chance. Uh, and it is written in the latter days. This will be considered in the latter days. Jeremiah 30, 24 says so. And he says, I'll return my terrifying anger if you will just give me the desire of uh, my heart that I pray for in Gethsemane for you to be loving people. Loving people. Loving people. Apostate no more. Turn the light back on. Flame back on. Otherwise, the Lord God says, I shall send all those whose faith isn't fervent enough unto, uh, to dedicate themselves uh, to his peace, to those that won't be peaceful, uh, those letting their uh, love die out. He will let them go to where they want to go. So let the foolish be wise enough to understand this. Blasphemy of my Holy Spirit is unforgivable. And it is my judgment over every unloving soul daring to accuse Satan of being the author of my glory. Uh, and for that reason, Satan has been removed, and so shall all unloving souls. And nor shall any redemption ever be able to be found for people like uh, Putin, uh, who will perish everlastingly. For if my lost ones refuse to hearken unto my voice of life, then the spirit of death shall I loosen so it might rain down upon earth as their executioner by the hands of World War III, bringing Armageddon, 
ever so closer. It is written, this vision was written for the appointed time at the end, so all those who readeth it may run! World War Three, And if you won't share these messages, you're just a hypocritical, unloving fucker. Excuse me, frigger. So go stand in the Antichrist line, the lawless one morgue, who's got the 666 on his wall. But to loving people, there will be nothing but love that he wants to pour down upon you, if only you can accept it, because the kingdom of God is within, and joy is an inside job. Will you open the door to your heart to let him come in and sup with you? So know that the Lord says, all of those who will not hear my small book of love foretold in the revelation that makes the, the mouth sweet and the, be the belly bitter. That is why no one has given me the time of the day for months. Doesn't settle right because they want to stay religious. They want to stay accusing, con full of condemnation for one another. And it, the buck stops here. I am Elijah. And so these are the days, cursed are they, that uh, there is no darker gross darkness that those that have eyes that refuse to see. And there are none so deaf as those who refuse to hear. And people do not want to hear truth, that love is always transcendent and always has been. So accursed shall be all Russian wolves who will be the rats running away from that cat in sheep's clothing who refuses to accept that these are the days of Habakkuk 2 and the vision so that the people will run at that appointed time and it's time to 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 change people we must change we must beat our sword into the sickle of love for these are the days of my most fervent fire is coming forth uh, from my spirit of love pouring upon all flesh that can accept it all people who are not as shallow as a glass of water. And for that reason, Mickey and many both have told me a long time that, you know, the, the truth is this world has been a world of festering fears and tears. And it's time that our perfect love can cast all of that away. So know that for all those refusing to believe in the literal manifestation of all prophecy, they don't really believe anything in my word of life. Uh, total apostasy is in all three Abrahamic peoples. No one will even look at prophecy. No one, no one obeys the Lord God, and they're all deceived. So therefore, all unloving people, unto them death alone shall be their unwanted portion, Vlad, unless you will repent, and he doesn't have much time, by my understanding. So no, it's finally the long-awaited time of Daniel 12.4, when a great increase of knowledge ha has to include the body of Christ further enlightenment from people of all religions or none. For if you're an alcoholic and you're a loving one, you're a born-again alcoholic, according to the word of 1 John 4, 7. For all those who love are born of God and know him because he is love. And know that after all, our Lord of comprehension has never intended that seemingly bounded gross of understanding would come in all other areas for mankind like computers and science, electronics, medicine, but keep his very own church in the dark uh, without any possibility of any further increase uh, in true spirituality. No, that's why Elijah would come forth and restore all things. And I am Daniel, uh, the latter day Daniel. I am Shiloh, uh, the same guy. I uh, Genesis 49, 1, 12. 12, whose eyes are red and dull of wine, the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, one transgressed by wine, but the just will live by my faith, the alcoholic of uh, uh, Zechariah 3 that writes the flying scroll of Zechariah 5 that writes the uh, everlasting gospel, the writer of uh, line by line, precept by precept, the strong and mighty one as with stammering lips, that guy, I'm that guy. The guy that Moses foretold as one like him, a kingdom age covenant giver, giver of a new law of love. Uh, I am one leading the, the, the faithful out of unrestored religion. They must run as the wind. Uh, it's time to shut down religion. We need the shattering of the power of the holy people for people to get along. And God could not have picked a better man for the, uh, for the head than someone that was the tail like Rasputin. He is the only kingdom age prophet that will make any difference in this world. Not me. Well, I might have something to do with it, but it is his 
the glory of love is shining upon that man because he is standing in, upon the great white throne, kneeling at the feet of Christ as we speak. And so as Moses declared, God's name is jealous, and his name is angry at this moment, and he's far too jealous to ever allow his unloving children's knowledge to not to be able to escalate so they can turn towards love and not be destroyed for their lack of knowledge. Uh, so it's time to realize that uh, it's time to hearken now unto the word of the Lord that was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9. I am a gospel writer, if people will ever believe that. I've only got uh, the, what do I got at my station? I've rewritten and uh, produced uh, the entirety of the Gospel of Thomas, all the praise from all people of the world, all religions, 17 hours of that. I've got 48 half-hour videos on the Passion of Christ. Man, is that powerful. Uh, no one will watch them. I've uh, connected all the dots of all prophecy. No one wants to hear that. No one wants, uh, everyone wants the devil to stay here in the world because according to prophecy, he has been removed and uh, that's provable at this point by prophecy. So the Lord says, where there is light, there is no darkness. And as, as my latter day servant of Isaiah 49, my Elijah task service, a servant comes forth. I am the arrow of Isaiah 49, and Christ is the white horseman with a bow just for me. And it's time for all people to work together for our common good, our common uh, peace, our common uh, love that needs to be flamed back on like Johnny Torch. And so too shall the dissolve, the Antichrist, mirror the spiritual unity uh, in a satanic way, as even the false prophet Dr. David Auer of Repent and Prepares the Ways comes forth as a counterfeit uh, who will fight against the truest truth, uh, which is what I am presenting. I am the only Elijah Task servant ever chosen and not uh, walking into it like a counterfeit agent. Uh, so these are the day when there shall be war in heaven, a fire set ablaze upon earth, upon all hearts like Vlad, that will either get rock, rock hard and bust into a million pieces and be cast into the everlasting darkness or will soften. But I don't see that for him. And that is uh, according to prophecy. His doom is about ready to be sealed in the, the blaze of hellfire upon earth. And heaven fire will join in for that party. And so the Lord says, My fire will come forth through my sword prophet, uh, my latter-day Dan and my Elijah, to burn down that false prophet's butt, uh, uh, Dr. David Uar and uh, Putin, who is the Antichrist of Daniel 12. Not the lawless one, that is a different prophecy. So understand that it's time uh, that uh, people need to turn around and read from the book of hypocrisy because it's time to stop being uh, it's time to stop being evil there is no good man no not one Romans 3.10 but there's levels of evilness and uh, Rasputin did repent before he passed of all his evilness he really did and uh, so have I you know, I was so bad at 16 years old, I passed out with a bag of glue on my face. <sighs> because of ignorance, I was being destroyed, and I was destroying myself, as the people of Russia are doing. People, you know, look at this flag. It's your flag. You chose it. What do you got? You got, you got the white for the purity of love and peace. You got the blue for the blue skies above you that will stay blue and not turn gray and dark and angry by God's curse upon you. And what do you got down here? You got blood, a lot of blood. And as it is written, so is it true at Fatima. Uh, Our Lady came forth and said that if Russia does not convert, they will be the annihilation of the world. They have not converted, none of them. They all got a false Jesus, and I am Elijah, 
and my true Jesus, his name is love. The other name Jesus has been cast down because it was a phony name, not written by an apostle or a prophet, just described in the 17th century. Muhammad, Jesus, nobody ever heard of the name Jesus. But all people that believe that God will forgive lovelessness when you let your love die out, he cannot and will not forgive. So they're Jesus that they think he's going to forgive everything. They got a bullshit false God. So his true name is love. That is the name, the secret name of Mark for only those who want to know. That is the name of our beloved, our blessed, and the adored. And every knee will bow down unto the name of love. And to the name of love, every, every, uh, all, all men will confess love with their tongue. And it was never to be the name of Jesus. And if all people of the world will just adopt the true God, a God of love, then we can all get along in the sandbox and the world will be one, just as imagine John Lennon did, and he was a kingdom age prophet as well. So love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Welcome to the latter day mountain of Elijah. I'm another Noah building a huge mountain of videos, 8,000 so far, for uh, just like Noah built many years a boat for nobody that wanted a ride. And I've done the same thing for nobody that wants truth. So if you don't, bug off. Go go stand in Morgan's line. He'd love to have you. Morg official. Check him out. He's a cool cat, you know. <laughs> yeah.